Hi everyone, I'm in the Cricut Craft Room today. I'm Paula and we are going to be talking about infusible ink. We are going to be using our infusible ink transfer sheets to put on one of our infusible ink compatible t-shirt bases. I'm really excited to show you this because I love infusible ink. It is just the funnest product to use. So first thing, we're gonna go over into our Design Space desktop app and show you how to choose your image and get everything ready to cut your material. So first thing we're gonna do is go over here into our desktop app. So we're just going to choose an image and we're gonna head right over here to images and just for fun, we're gonna pick a fun t-shirt. So we're gonna search as if. And so we have these fun as if des designs and we all know that the 80s and 90s are making a big old comeback. So we're gonna click on this one and hit insert image. All right. From this screen, you can size your image however you need. You can use this button down here that gives you a two-way size, and you can pull it and um, push it to make, to make it whatever size you need that works best for the material you're using. Or you can go up here to our size bar. So you can change the width or the height, and it will keep the proportion of the other so that it stays looking the way it did, just bigger or smaller. If you need to manipulate your proportions, go ahead and click your unlock. And that is going to unlock it so you can change this to maybe a nine, but then it's gonna keep it shorter at just the, a little over five inches. Now you can also use this. When we unlock our, our image, our proportions, this changes it to a four way button that you can make it super thin, you can make it really tall and skinny, however you want to manipulate your image. All right, and after this, we would go over here to this little tab that lets us choose which machine we're using. We could either choose the Cricut Maker or the Cricut Explore family. Today we're using a Maker, and so we would click that. And then we hit Make It. Now, because we are using infusible ink, we need to mirror our image. So we're going to click the little mirror button. Infusible ink is amazing. It is a little more, um, a little more steps to the process than iron on, but it's not any more difficult, if that makes sense. We want to make this easy and fun for you, but there are a few more steps to ensure that you get the best look possible. So from this screen, we're gonna hit over to continue and then we'll select our device. Now this is going to choose our device and it's going to connect through Bluetooth and then we will set our material. We'll go over here to browse materials. We're gonna search infusible ink and it comes up right here with infusible ink transfer sheets. Now I'm gonna go ahead and star this so it holds it into my favorites bar so I always have the option to have that. And now it's telling us to make sure we've mirrored our image and that our machine is ink side up. So I'm gonna switch over to the front view here for you guys, and I'm gonna show you what we mean by ink side up. If you've used iron-on material before, you know that we always do the shiny side down, or I'm sorry, the, we always do the shiny side down, but, all right, so the matte part is up. So what we are doing with this is sort of the same. We are doing our material face up, but because this is what we flip over onto our shirt, we do need to mirror it. So when you have the infusible ink sheet, as you can see, it doesn't look super bright. If we wanna switch over to the overhead, I'll give you a little more up close version of it, or view of it. And so as you can see, it's got some good color in there, but it's not really super vibrant. The best thing about the infusible ink is that this is sort of a dull version of what is going to happen when we apply the heat to it. Some things you need to know about the infusible ink is you wanna make sure that your hands are dry and clean and free of any type of lotion. Lotion on your hands can cause the ink to transfer onto your fingers and you wouldn't even notice it until you maybe touch your material and then apply heat to it and you would have these little smudges from it. So you wanna make sure you have clean, dry, lotion-free hands 
And now we're gonna trim this up a little bit. So we're gonna take our scissors and just kind of cut across the bottom here. So weeding the infusible ink is a little different than weeding iron-on. You actually don't need like a weeding tool. You just need, oh, that kind of fell there. You just need basically your fingers. So when you're weeding this, you're just going to kind of pop it. So for this corner, we're gonna give it a quick little pop and you just, you might have to work it a little bit to get that away from the carrier sheet. And then you just peel it back. This is almost feels like a papery material. So you're pulling that away and it makes that nice satisfying little crackle sound. And you wanna go slow to make sure that none of the parts, just like with regular weeding, that you're not pulling up anything that's not meant to come up. All right, so we're just gonna get that off of there. We're gonna get the big bulk of it off first. And now we're gonna go in and pull out the inside part of it. So we're just gonna pop that and pull that back and we'll get our lightning bolt. and then the first inside layer of our letters. Now you wanna make sure that the little inside dots stay there. So as I said before, make sure you go, you go just a little slow. You don't have to go super slow, but just make sure that you're not pulling out anything you're not supposed to. So we got the inside of our letters coming off. And do you see how easy this comes? It's like the simplest thing in the world. And then we do have another little guy right there. So we're gonna go ahead and put that over. So now, as you can see, there's our image. And if you flip it over, it says, as if. So we're gonna set this to the side while we prep our shirt. As I said before, it is a little bit longer of a process because you, you do have a few more steps, but it is not a more difficult process. So we're going to set our shirt down. And this is one of our Cricut Infusible Ink Compatible shirts. And we suggest using these because they are optimized to work best with the infusible ink and you will get the best results. All right, so first thing we're going to do, as always, is preheat our shirt. So we are, we are heating at 385 degrees for 40 seconds for when we press the material on. But when we preheat, we just need to do it for a few seconds. But one of the things we need to do is use butcher paper to protect our material. So we're just gonna roll that out like that. And we're just gonna put that little guy there for just a few seconds. And as we've said before, this helps pull the moisture that might be in the shirt. Your shirt can feel completely dry and there could still possibly be moisture in there. All right, so we're gonna move this. And then what we're going to do is we are going to lint roll. We pulled this directly out of the packaging that we got it in. But as we all know, there are little things on there that you might not be able to see, but that can impact how your image goes onto your material. So we're just doing a nice, lint roll of the shirt to make sure there's nothing stuck on there that we don't want. And now that was in packaging, but look at the lint that came off. Oh, let me make this sure that you guys can see this. Look at the lint that came off of there. I hope you guys can see that on there because as crazy it is it as it is, there was a lot of lint on there even though it came straight out of the packaging. Our next step is to add our cardstock underneath. The main purpose of the cardstock is that it is protecting your mat and the back side of your shirt from any infusible ink that might come through the material. So what we want to do is slide this inside the shirt. And we're just gonna work that up there. Now, infusible ink infuses into the material. It does not sit on top of it. So if we were to not put that there, it does run the chance of our infusible ink 
from our transfer sheet, transferring all the way through to the back of the shirt. And that is definitely not going to be what you want. So we have this laid out. Now we're going to center our image on our shirt. So with a V-neck shirt, you wanna go about a couple fingers down from the neck. And then we'll set that there. The nice thing about this infusible ink transfer sheet is that the sticky carrier sheet is really sticky. And that way you can position it and make sure that it's in the right spot before you press it down. One thing also to remember is that when you preheat your shirt, don't immediately put your infusible ink transfer sheet down because the material will be too hot. You wanna let it cool for a minute so that you can have the image be where you want and maybe possibly adjust it without there being any light transferring of the infusible ink. That's why I like to preheat and then do my lint roll because it gives it that time to cool down before I place my image. So we're just gonna kind of eyeball it here. Let's go from this guy to this guy. And my hands are stretched out about the same amount. If you wanted, you could use a measuring tape or you can also fold the shirt in half and leave a crease line so you have it lined up perfectly. I think that this looks pretty good for our shirt. So once again, we are going to cover it with the butcher paper. So our layers are, we have our easy press mat, the t-shirt, the white cardstock inside of the t-shirt, the transfer sheet, and our butcher paper. That is how your layers will look when you go to iron, or I'm sorry, to heat transfer your infusible ink. So we are going to set this on top of here. A very important thing about infusible ink when you're heating it is you want to make sure that your entire image fits underneath your surface of your easy press. So we have already made sure that this all fits under here. So what we're going to do is set it directly down, but we are not going to move it around in any way. We're gonna make sure that it stays in the same place because if you were to move it, you do run the risk of the infusible ink transferring onto a different part of the shirt because the image has shifted. So we are just going to make sure that we set that directly down like that. We're gonna start and we're just gonna give it light pressure. We're gonna set our hands on there and just let it count down. All right, so we are finished and we're just gonna lift that right off and you wanna lift straight up. You don't wanna like slide it down or anything like that. You just wanna lift straight up and put it back onto its carry, its little um, base right there. We're gonna carefully take this off. Now, we want this to be, you don't wanna peel it off where it could possibly burn your fingers. So you either need to wait for it to cool really well or you use our fun little tweezers here and you just grab an edge and you pull back. And look at that color. Isn't that so fun? So as you can see, we have taken all of the color out of the transfer sheet. So just to give you an idea, this is what it started out looking like. This is what happened after it transferred. And then look at how bright those colors are in comparison to this and definitely to this where you can see where it's drawn all of the infusible ink out of the transfer sheet. And the best thing about our infusible ink is that this is ready to go. I can rub my hands all over it. It is not going to smear. Nothing bad is going to happen to it. So we can pull this out and it is ready to wear right now. And I'm gonna try and show you. So when we have our iron on, you do have a little bit because it sits on top of the material. So you do kind of feel that it's sitting on top. This is infused into the fabric. So look, it stretches, it pulls, but there's no wrinkling, there's no peeling, there's no flaking. It is all right in there. So you've got this great shirt that is going to pretty much last forever and it has the, the infusible ink transferred into the material, so it is ready to go. And I just love, like that's so satisfying to see how, <laughs> how well into the fabric it is. All right, 
So you have now made your first infusible ink item and we hope that you guys love it as much as we do. And we also hope that you stick around and view more of our videos so you can learn how to use your new Cricut machine with all the great materials we have available. Have a great day.